Hello, Summer. How are you? Good. How was school today? Yes? Did you have mm, PE? No. Music? La la la. English? Hello. Chinese? Ni hao. Yes, today we are doing an assessment. Do you know what an assessment is? <laughs> yes, kind of. It is like a celebration of what you know. Okay? Let's begin. Poor Fox was hungry. <laughs> Can you read? Can you do wolf? Ah! <gasps> You're a scary wolf, Summer. What does this say? Okay, when you have an assessment, here's a tip. Someone told me this. Add feedback. I click this arrow and it comes here to the bottom. Then I make my screen a little smaller. Let's get rid of this. So I'll do command minus. Oh, look, tiny. And then I can just go through. Now, keep in mind when you click save, it uh, logs you out. See how it froze? Yeah, it does that at the bottom. <laughs> I had to learn that. Okay, and it won't let you submit until like the hour mark. So just save and then I always take notes here to the side on what to put in the written feedback. Okay. My lines aren't straight with the mouse. I was so used to my laptop because it has a trackpad and I can draw straight lines. I just click and go fast. <laughs> That's how I get straight lines in my class. I have to have a trackpad. I only use this trackpad for class because I have the desktop now. But I usually use, there's my little Mac. I use that when I stand up or if I'm traveling or whatnot. I still do use that one, but I do like the desktop. It's bigger, it's just, it's brighter, it's nice. It's fun to use. Use whatever you have though. <laughs> what? Good. Did. Okay, ready? Set. Go. 13 seconds. One more time. <laughs> Four seconds. You added some silly words. Bobby, high five. Two stars. Mac? Ham? Hello, kitty. <laughs> Hello, kitty. Hello, kitty. Kitty? Kitty? Two kitties. You are kitty. She is kitty. Ah, oh, your shirt is Hello Kitty. <laughs> and your bed is Hello Kitty. <laughs> Can you raise your arms? Ah. Wiggle your fingers. Shake your shoulders. Sleep. Uh. Wake up. Time for class, kitty. Time for class. Hey, 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 kitty. Kitty, 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 kitty. <laughs> A stomach. This is a stomach. Our pandas are the same. Yes, it is from Ikea. <laughs> if I sound a little manly. <laughs> I have been very stuffy in the morning and it's 100% pregnancy, which is just fine. I just teach through it, it's wonderful. Just a little nasally. However, class is going great. Usually I do teach intermediate and advanced level students. So I wanted to show you a typical day in the classroom. It is Monday. So I've taught a level three, I've done an, an assessment, and then I did another level three and then another level three, and my next class is a level four. So I'll let you have a little peek in there. You'll notice it's a lot more conversational. I love this level because we we like joke, we tease, we have like a little banter going on. It's just so much fun for me. Um, I also do love my little peewee, my little ones, because I mean, they're, just, they're so excited to see their teacher. However, I'm always exhausted after those. After my intermediate advance, I'm not near as tired. <laughs> 
I just don't, I don't think you have to um, maintain their attention as well. You just can ask them a question and they'll tell you a story and that keeps their attention. They love connecting to what they have. My last student had this same panda bear. Ikea must be in China because I have another student that has this pig. <laughs> These are both from Ikea. It's so funny when they have the same things. They're like, oh, I have that. Oh, I'd say probably almost 100% have dino. <laughs> it's so fun to bring dino out. I really love this. I'm working from five to seven and then I have a mock class at seven to eight and then I have a Skype meeting with VIP kid from eight to nine. <laughs> I really booked my morning and that's how Mondays go. I just say, okay, this is my morning schedule. That's when I can get, get in. Um, usually by the end of the week or by the beginning of the week, my whole week is booked in the mornings and then I have to start scheduling for the next week. If it's Skype sessions or re referrals or if I'm doing any mock classes, um, I keep the same schedule whether Dave is here or not. And he is not here this morning. So please bless Ava sleeps till nine. <laughs> if not, it's okay if she joins us Skype, that's fine. And it's okay if she wakes up, she usually gets herself back to sleep. She's on the other side of this wall. Hi, Eva. What is culture, Lynn? <laughs> yes. The art, food, and celebrations. You remember from last class, huh? Lynn, today you're earning Christmas ornaments, like Rudolph. Are you ready? Can you read Chinese architecture? Do you know these Chinese buildings? St Look over here. Statue. Wow. Have you been there? Pa Pagoda. Good. Look, you learned Daisy the reindeer. Hello, Lynn. Ah, oh, hi Barbie. My name is Daisy. You're very beautiful. How old are you? At <laughs> 20. I would love to celebrate Chinese New Year. We don't in America, but I would love to. Should I celebrate too? Festivals. Do you celebrate Christmas? You do? Do you have a tree? Ah, you have a Christmas tree. How beautiful, Lynn. I love it. That is perfect. Especially. Yes, good job, Lynn. You did that by yourself. Are you excited to read? Okay, you read this, and I will read the next part. Remember, this word is architecture. Great reading, Lynn. My turn. The roof is a special shape. When it rains, the inside does not get wet. Chinese palaces have statues of animals. These animals, animals protect the building. Did you know that, Lynn? What do these animal statues do? You're correct. Your turn to read. That word is so hard. Architecture. Keep reading, Lynn. You're doing a great job. Today, we're looking at soft G. Do you know what sound soft G makes? Yes! It sounds like J. Like J. It says J. Let's read this word. Yes. Can you do this? Giraffe. High five. Santa. Lynn hit you in the face again. Sorry. You can hit the abominable snowman in the face. <laughs> good job today, Lynn. You earned five stars and did a really good job with the reading and answering all the questions. You deserve a big heart. Look what time it is. Oh, it's a glare. It is 6, 6.56. What time is it at your house? Oh, it is your bedtime. Yes? You need to go to sleep. Bye-bye. I start with a message and end with a message. So I started with Hello Lynn. And then I ended with Great job today, Lynn. I will see you next time. And usually there's more writing in the um, 
chat box over there just to help them with words or ones that they missed. I write them there and then I also take notes over here on ones to put in their feedback. But I am going to do my feedback after because I got to set up for a mock class. I love my regular students. Oh, Lynn is the cutest. They're just so cute. I love them. Oh my goodness, Bobby will give me a run for my money. I could not keep that boy focused. I was like, good, good. Okay, can you read this? Nope. Um, a lot of times that the leveling is too hard and that's what the case is. They get distracted or frustrated or they don't want to read or they act like they can't do it even though they can to an extent, but it's really a struggle for them. So I've come to find that usually if I do more of the we do, I say you repeat, um, I get through the lesson a little bit better and I'll always leave. This level is too difficult. Like I'll click too difficult on the feedback and I've seen classes change. If I was consistently telling them that it was too difficult over and over, they've changed the leveling, which is great that they follow through with that feedback. Okay, let's go mock classes. Hello, how are you doing? You're not, you can't hear me? Hear me now? <laughs> yes, if the sound's not working, oh yes. I usually a little refresh will fix that, so that's all I did. And if that happens to you in class, usually that's the first step. One more hour to go, and everyone just sees this headshot right here. This is like where my camera is. I'm holding it, so it's not usually bouncing around, but look, pregnant belly. Pajama pants, a blanket. <laughs> and they just think I look real official. I know. That was a really fun mock class. She's a really excellent teacher. I love doing mock classes, especially when they go really well. When I feel like I'm learning from them and can give them really good in-depth feedback, not just kind of grazing the surface of these are the typical things that I see. Um, I feel like a lot of teachers that do their research and do their homework and practice, 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 are in a good position to do well in those mock classes. So that was a lot of fun. Be honest, do you wear pajamas while you're teaching? You all do, you all do. I know it. Thanks for joining me this morning, guys. I am now eating my cereal, filling in my feedback. What a fun morning. Oh, I'm out of breath, I'm out of the stairs. I just had a, it was a Zoom conference call with Lingo Bus. So I'm very excited to share that. It's actually the opposite version of VIP Kid. So it is Chinese teachers that are teaching Americans Chinese. I'm like, that's so cool. So they just launched in August. I'm going to try out the system, see if I like it, see if it's something I'd like to promote. And you may see more videos in the future on Lingo Bus. You'll have to let me know in the comments if you have done Lingo Bus, I wanna hear. <laughs> if you are a VIP Kid teacher, I'm sure you've heard of it. Have your kids tried it? Did they like it? <laughs> I wanna hear your feedback on Lingo Bus because I've only seen a couple videos on it. I don't know a lot of it, so I'm going to do my homework, my research this December to see if it's something I would like to promote. This is crazy, their conference call. So 8 a.m. here, and that's 11 p.m. Nobody was in the office. It was just them. Like they stayed to conference call with me and I couldn't believe that. Like that's so much effort. It was really nice. And they gave me that option as a time. So I took it. They worked so hard. They worked so hard over there. Does anyone else have a child that sleeps till 12? <laughs> I figured she just took her nap in the morning. Hi Ava. Are you flying? Good morning. Ava, where do we put the binky in the morning? In the crib? Do you want to put it in the crib? Do you want to? What do you want today? I farted. You farted? Yeah. <laughs> you? In case you were wondering. I also put back on my pajama shirt every morning. Why? I got hearts. I got hearts. Ava, I'm ready for lunch and you're ready for breakfast? Do you want toast? Yeah, I talk a bit. And what? I talk a bit. And chocolate bread? Oh, you want toast with chocolate on it? It's good on Okay. Good job! Good job! Okay, get your new diaper. Where's your new diapers? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Get one. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's a good one. Oh, oh two. Just one. Just one. Well, I was going to start potty it's training good today. It's good I don't know if I can do it. It's good should we start tomorrow? <laughs> okay, we'll start tomorrow. Dad's home tomorrow. Mom got lots of work done this morning. 
I got all my emails, all my videos finished. I'm all done. I sure like when you snooze. Because oh. <laughs> now we get to play, play, play. Okay, get your balloon. Oh, whoa. That's a cool toy. You're gonna you're gonna have a good day, huh? Okay, I'll hold it. Yeah. Yep. Be closing all the doors. Okay. Where's Ava? That's Ava. There she is. Oh. Aw, what you doing? What's she doing? Oh. Oh, I'll just hold on everything. Oh. Oh, sorry. I had something in my hand. Somehow. It's carrying it all. Oh, I think you can buy it. Okay, Target, let's talk about this elf that you created. Okay? Hey. We took a guy elf. Hey. We put a hat on the guy elf and pigtails. And it fell off! And Ava wants me to fix it, and I'm the teacher that does not have hot glue. I do not. Hi, Sophia is now Topher. Topher. Yeah, he's Topher. Hello, Topher. Hello, Topher. He's just a bald old man now. Oh, what's this? He's bald. Oh, what's this? Yeah, no hair. Let's get some food in that cute little belly. It's so empty. Oh, dead. Okay, day 11, like the world. I was a stranger and you took me in. I am going to share on this channel in the comments, there is a link to a man in, he's in my church, he's in my ward, and he moved here six years ago to live in America. His wife and his daughter are not with him. More he milk. had to move and get citizenship more here. Milk. Okay, more milk. Okay, more milk. So okay. he's been living without them for six years and is trying to raise five thousand dollars. They're at two thousand six hundred. I just shared it on my Facebook and I thought we gotta get him five thousand dollars so he yeah. can have his family here. Wait, so Toy. Now that he has citizenship, That's now toy. his goal is to get his wife That's and his daughter toy. here. And he's just the nicest Wait. man. On me yes, below. <laughs> Read in the GoFundMe. If you have even $10, $5, anything, that would be Five helpful. Dollars. I think it would be awesome if we could raise $5,000 for this man. So I really wanted to bring awareness. That is what I'm doing today for my um, Like the World, is we donated some money to his GoFundMe, and I wanted to share it here. Maybe I could get someone to donate $10. Yay! Sure, Yay! Yay! <laughs> Yay! <laughs> Are you telling them thanks for helping? Tell them thanks. Oh. Uh, we had a casualty here. <laughs> but there's nothing better than your arm full of peanut butter and Nutella. Okay, let's take your shirt off. Mm. I'm sorry. It's a little bit funny.